Hello everyone, imagine if I told you there is something out there that can work like almost like a miracle cure for type 2 diabetes. It's not a pill, it's not an injection, it is not some expensive supplement either. It is something totally free, something you already have access to. What's that miracle? Well, exercise. Now, don't roll your eyes and say, oh great, another doctor telling me to work out. I'm not talking about punishing gym sessions or running marathons. I'm talking about understanding the real science of how movement reverses diabetes at the cellular level and why sometimes it can even spike your blood sugar in the short term and why the miracle fades if you go back to your old habits. Stick with me because this is the part nobody explains clearly. So why does exercise work like a cure? Well, type 2 diabetes is at its core about insulin resistance. You have got insulin, but your body's cells act like a rusty lock. The key doesn't fit well, the door won't open, and sugar piles up in your bloodstream. That's why your numbers climb. And here is where exercise becomes magical. When you move your muscles, they stop waiting for insulin. They just grab the sugar right, right out of your blood and burn it for fuel. Imagine a crowd of thirsty sponges soaking up glucose. That's why your numbers drop immediately after a walk, a bike ride, or even a simple bodyweight workout. And over time, regular exercise oils up that rusty luck. It makes your body more sensitive to insulin again. The door opens smoother, right? The sugar flows where it should, and your whole metabolic system just runs better. But wait, why does exercise sometimes raise the blood sugar, right? Well, here is where people get confused. You go for a run and you lift some weights maybe and check your continuous glucose monitor and boom, your blood sugar is higher. And you think, what the heck? I thought exercise was supposed to lower it, right? Well, I hear that a lot in my clinic as well. Here's what's happening. Intense or stressful exercise triggers your body's fight or flight response, which is a stress hormone, right? Stress response. So the adrenaline cortisol flood your system. Now, short-term stress is good, right? But your liver will respond to that by dumping stored glucose into your blood. Because these are the same hormones that even in non-diabetics requires your body to be, you know, using more glucose. So your liver doesn't know you're diabetic, so just giving that glucose anyway. Now, like throwing logs on a fire to make sure that your muscles have enough fuel, but that can backfire and that can cause spike temporarily. But here's the important part. The spike is just short-lived anyway. So after exercise, your muscles keep pulling in glucose at an accelerated rate for hours, up to 24 hours. So over time, those temporary bumps are massively outweighed by the long-term drop in average blood sugars and A1C. So don't panic when you see a spike during exercise. That is your body fueling up for the work. It's not failure. It is just physiology. And I'll tell you this, no exercise is wasted. Now, I can already hear objections. They're gonna say, too old for exercise, or my knees are shot, my back is shot, I don't have time for this, etc., etc. right? Well, here's the truth. You don't need to do extreme workouts. There is no wasted exercise. Every step counts. So for older adults, walking is the king, if they can. And they can also add some like resistance bends and even like soup cans as a weight, right? You know, because your muscle is your best sugar sponge. For middle-aged adults, mix it up. Walking, cycling, yoga, life strength training. But variety keeps you engaged and protects your joints. For people with joint problems, I think water is your best friend. Swimming, water aerobics, or stationary biking give you all the glucose burning benefits without ponding your knees or hips. Or upper body exercises for people with knee problems and lower back. Chair exercises, chair workouts. Even stretching makes a difference. So your body doesn't really care if it is fancy. It just cares about that you move, right? So why it feels like a miracle? But it's not a permanent one, right? Here's where I need to be real with you. Exercise can transform blood sugar control so dramatically that people reduce or even stop their medications. And doctors like me see it all the time. And that's why it feels like a cure. But here's the hard truth for you. If you stop, the miracle fades. 
Go back to sitting all day, eating processed junk and skipping movement, and the rusty lock returns. Insulin resistance creeps back in, sugar piles up, and diabetes comes roaring back. That's why I don't call exercise a one-time cure. It is a living treatment. You only keep the benefits as long as you keep moving. So think of it like brushing your teeth. You don't do it just once and expect clean teeth forever, right? You do it daily because maintenance is the key. Now let's look at the big picture takeaway. Exercise is the closest thing we have to a miracle cure for type 2 diabetes. If anybody else promises you another type of cure, they're lying. Obviously, the diet is a big part of it. You have to fix your diet. But I hear this a lot from my patients that they eat fine. They eat good. They eat healthy. They don't eat carbs, but their blood sugars are still high. And when I ask, hey, do you exercise? They're like, oh, no, no, I don't have time for this. Or uh, no, no, my knees are shot. So typical, right? Here all the time. But exercise will lower your blood sugar instantly, will repair the insulin resistance and builds long-term metabolic health. Yes, some types of exercise will make your blood sugar spike for a little bit, but don't get discouraged. That is your body's way of fueling up. The overall trend, the one that matters, is that the regular movement lowers your A1C, protects your heart, and literally saves years of life for you. The miracle is not found in a prescription bottle, all right? It is already inside you and waiting for you to take that first step. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. Click on the ring bell and that's all you can do. And maybe write a comment, right, to help me out. And we will definitely try to answer you and we will see you in the next video. Remember, stay tuned. You have more coming.